So here's another recording of, of another demo. This one's a little bit more advanced, though it actually has fewer moving parts. Uh, this one uses Apache Spark streaming to do interpretations of uh, positions of Bluetooth beacons. So basically I have Raspberry Pis sitting out there, and it's basically looking for Bluetooth beacons. They're just kind of scanning and sniffing for a Bluetooth 4 low energy device. Uh, I have two different types. I have a gimbal Bluetooth low energy device and an Estimote sticker. Uh, specifically, this is a $5 device. This is a $10 device. And those guys are basically grabbing the data. There's also a little LCD that displays the closest one to it at the moment. It's dropping that into ActiveMQ, uh, Apache ActiveMQ, and then Apache Spark is doing the analysis on the fly and determining which of these Raspberry Pis is it closest to based on the signal strength. And based on that, it's determining check check in check out events, right? Check into this room versus that room. The idea being that you can have multiple rooms that you're tracking these Bluetooth beacons moving around, and you can basically you know think think of it as asset tracking. And then there's two visualizations: one that basically just shows the raw message count, and one that actually shows the beacons moving around. And these are both Node.js applications. So they're running back here in the background. Let's simply let me get those guys up, and then I have my. Uh, right here so this is my this is my Raspberry Pi sitting right here beside me uh, and that is represented by this one right here okay so you can see there's one little beacon close to it right now it thinks it thinks the door one is close and you can see it actually just picked up the second one here even though they're a little further away because what happens is the other scanner is just a few feet away from me right now and what I'm gonna do is go grab the beacons that are near it and pull them over here and what you'll see is you'll see um, some activity here happening with Spark. You'll see it basically doing its evaluation. So Spark is running right there. And this is actually Scanner 1, which is represented on this screen here. So Scanner 1, it's doing its, its checking there. Um, and then so let's see how this works out. So let's see if we can make this look, uh, make this look interesting. So let me go grab the beacons. Bring the beacons a little bit closer. So here's the bicycle beacon. Let's see if it picks up. All right. So it's seeing dog. I have a dog one over here too. Um, let's see if it picks up the bicycle beacon. No. Come on, grab a hold of that bicycle beacon. Here, let's try the car one. We'll give it the car one. And um, it still wants to it wants to focus on dog. But you notice though, it, it they all jumped up. Well, most of them jumped up this top one here. So I basically have these Estimo beacons running right here. So that's what they all look like. Um, so I can put them back in their little box. And then if I move these guys around, so if I take them back over to the other sensor, which is just a few feet away, in this case I just tossed them over there, you should see the calculations happen, check in. So basically it's going to check out number A here. This is scanner A, you can see scanner A there. And then it's going to show them checking into scanner B, which is this one represented here. Um, so you can see it's now looking for fridge and they're still close enough that not all of them are making it to the other scanner. Let me close the door here. Hey, all I'm trying to do is cut off enough of the Bluetooth signal so that the other uh, scanner, the other Raspberry Pi, picks up on it. My Raspberry Pis, by the way, are just running on these um, rechargeable batteries you use for your iPhone or Android phone. And then um, you can see there's a little LCD there that basically is trying to identify the closest beacon to it. In this case, I have it mapped to dog and things like that based on the image on the Estimote sticker. And then there's the um, Bluetooth dongle and Wi-Fi dongle, and that's how the magic happens. This is actually right now running a vertex process, uh, and that's what's happening here in the background, calculating the, the closest beacon, sniffing out those beacons, and then it passes that data over to Spark, which makes the determination as to which scanner is it closest to and then uh, calculates the appropriate check-in, check-out events. So you can kind of see there what they're doing. Let me go grab them, pull them back this way, and we'll see if they move. Bring them back over here. We should see them jump to that top, jump up to the top. Um, there they go, they start moving. And you can see, like, here's my bag one. It should say it says hello shoe. Where's shoe at? So shoe's in here. This box too. There's my shoe. There's my door. <laughs> um, when we were doing this for Red Hat Summit, we actually gave them human names. We attached them to humans. But you can see right here that they all, most of them, jumped up to that second scanner. And if I pack them back up here and move them, uh, so there's. We'll just leave the bag there. 
and take the rest of these and move them back to the other scanner. We should see them move to the other scanner now. Uh, and you can see this one actually says, this one still thinks it's looking at the door even though the bag is closest. These actually are very low powered uh, beacons so um, sometimes it doesn't pick up on them as quite quite the same way. But that's the, it's a fairly complicated demonstration as there's a lot of moving parts here. Again, you got your Apache Spark making decisions. You have your, um, in this case, there's two Raspberry Pis running here in the background. I'm SSH in each of those and the process is running. This is being updated in real time based on its movements. This is being updated in real time based on the inbound. You can see there's over 6,000 events that have been processed. Uh, raw events and that's making calculations. So this is the output of Spark. This is the input to Apache Spark and it's determining its check-in check-outs and then of course drawing this user interface in real time. These are both Node.js applications using RxJS and you can kind of see my, oh there it is, now it says bag. So it finally figured out that the bag is the closest one which is good and this is scanner A and then um, scanner B like I said is a little further away to make to make this drawing work properly. In the case of the real event, we actually had these in separate rooms versus just one room right now. So the fact that they're so close together means the calculations aren't quite as robust as they would be if we had them, you know, at least 25 feet, 50 feet apart from each other. All right, so that's our beacon scanning, beacon tracking demo.